Hey guys, I am back with another haul and this time I actually have a few things that I've bought myself. They're not just items that were sent to me, so I am excited about this haul. So, oh, before I get into it, I am using my very own lighting because Phil got me my own set for my birthday. Um, some of you guys may know that I, in the last, um, in one or two videos, I was using my sister's lighting because I borrowed hers, but now I have my own so I'm really really excited so hope you guys enjoy the lighting I know it's still echoey in this room because it's still fairly empty but I hope you guys don't mind so without further ado let's get into this haul so the first thing and this is all um, just items that I've bought for the last um, few months because I just didn't have enough to show you guys in one haul so I have had some of this stuff for a while now. Um, I'm not actually showing it in any particular order. Now the first one is from boohoo.com and I got this onesie um, because I decided to jump on that bandwagon and get a onesie because it just looks so damn comfortable. So I got this geek one which I really really love. It is so comfortable. It's got sort of like a fleece lining. This is in a size small. It is super duper long for me so I have, it's like a harem onesie for me because the crotch sits so low but it doesn't really matter because you know you're only wearing it to be comfortable when you're walking around the house and whatnot so I got this and Phil was really jealous when he saw it and now he wants his own. The next few items are from toby.com and some of you guys may have seen um, my last haul when I had a few Toby items and I really love this site I love everything on there but you know I I'm not in a position to be purchasing too often because I am broke, to be completely honest. But I got a few things, I did uh, break down, I got a few things. I have been looking for uh, some summer dresses, like really lightweight, easy to wear summer dresses that I can wear when I'm on my honeymoon, which will be in three months time. So I am really, really looking forward to it. Um, and now I do, of course I do have summer dresses, but I, I've been looking for dresses that, you know, don't require strapless bras or like, you know, a, a tank top underneath because it's sheer. I just want an easy dress that I can put on and wear with any bra that I want any kind of underwear, like just no fuss dresses that I um, can just laze around in while I'm on my honeymoon. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering where we're going, we're going to a private resort island in Malaysia called Pangkor Laut. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's going to have like, you know, villas on the water and all that sort of thing. And then we're going to Japan. So this is more so for the, the private resort island part of the honeymoon. Anyways, so I got this dress and I really, really love this. Uh, I can wear any bra with it and I uh, don't need to worry about wearing new coloured underwear, stuff like that. And it's just so lightweight, it's easy to wear and I absolutely love it. And tempted to buy in another colour, but um, we'll see how we go. I'm not sure, I really do like it though, so I got that. Oh, and by the way, the Toby items, um, I got all 50% off because I had a coupon code, because if you refer five friends, then you get a 50% off coupon code, so I just used that. And I also got this skirt. Um, this was not particularly for the honeymoon, but I just really liked it. I have like the exact same skirt, not from Toby, but from somewhere else in a neon um, yellow color, fluorescent yellow. And um, I really like that skirt. It's very comfortable. So I decided to get this sort of pastel purple lilac key color for when spring comes around and yeah I could probably bring this on my holiday too. Now also for the honeymoon I decided to get a bag like this because it has a long shoulder strap and I wanted an easy bag with a shoulder strap that would just go with anything um, and you know I can just take it around with me everywhere so I got this you know maybe it's just an excuse to shop but you know to me it was a a justified reason to now, get some it. of you may have seen this next one it is this uh, chunky chain gold cross necklace I have worn it in quite a few videos now and just didn't have a chance to show it in a haul yet but I got this from Karma Loop because I had I think it was a $50 coupon code um, so I got this because I really like it and I have worn it with lots of things already so it was definitely worth 
Okay, Getting. one of my previous hauls, I think, it, yeah, it was my Miss KL haul, I showed you guys a pair of, um, it was like a pair of black pants that had sort of that wet, um, shiny look to them, and they were a bit too long for me. I did mention that I have been looking for some faux leather pants or leggings, or actually pants, uh, that fit me lengthwise, but it's just really hard for me because I'm quite short, I'm 156 centimeters tall and so I've been looking in the petite section of ASOS for ages trying to um, see if they have a pair of faux leather pants that I can get because obviously the length of that would be more suited to my height and I was really really excited when I saw these so they are a pair of faux leather jeans though so in the petite section I got it in a size 8 and it goes down um, the, le the leg looks like this and it's got a zip at the bottom as well. Now unfortunately it is still a little too long for me but I think it's going to be the best that I can ever get really and I could much more get away with wearing this than an actual full length pair. So I'm going to try and make it work. I think I can fold it up a bit um, inside. The only thing is because it's got a zip bottom it makes it a bit harder for the leg to sit properly when you fold it but uh, you know let me know what you guys think. I really like these. Now some of you may have heard of popbasic.com but I just recently discovered it and really sort of am interested and intrigued by the concept. Basically they have a new collection. I'm not sure how often. It could be once a month or something which has you know um, I think it's generally three pieces that you can buy that each collection uh, is priced differently based on what it is. I'm not too sure to be honest but I decided to give uh, the, I think it was the Sherwood collection ago. I wasn't contacted by them, I just decided to purchase it. So uh, this is the box that I received. So it comes in the box like this and I haven't actually tried on any of these items yet because I was waiting to do this haul. So uh, in the box I got this envelope and it's got my name on it and basically inside the envelope um, I got a card with sort of the description of what is in this collection and there's also a coupon code for I think it's a different online store and oh I just noticed this I got a Lano Lips sample as well. And I just got a nice thank you note, uh, written ha handwritten thank you note from Maddie at the Pop Basic team, which was very nice of her. So the main thing that drew me to getting this collection was this green chiffon maxi skirt and it's a pleated maxi skirt. I just think it looked really beautiful on the model and it's just a great sort of spring summery piece to have. I know it's winter here at the moment but it doesn't hurt to buy in advance. So I got this in an extra small. I haven't tried it on yet so hopefully it fits. The collection also came with this basic grey tee and you really can't go wrong or have enough basic tees in your wardrobe in my opinion. So that's that. I'm sure I will get lots of wear out of that. And the final thing in the collection is this ne statement necklace here and once again I think it's something that I would probably get lots of wear out of as well. So that's it for the items that I purchased with my own money and now on to the items that have been sent to me by various companies. The first one is Romway. Now I actually just forgot to mention this item when I hauled my runway items in my previous haul video so it was just this necklace here and I've also worn this in a I think it was in my Miss KL haul actually and it's just sort of like a three layer necklace with some crosses or crucifixes on them so I think that just goes with a lot of things so that's that. I've chosen a couple of things from She Inside and I got this striped top here. I really liked that it was a striped top but then it also had some neon trimming as well so it's got it on the collar as well as the sleeve so I think that's just really cute and goes with a lot of things as well. I also got these Zara inspired shorts so it looks like a skirt but they're actually shorts and I had a sneaking suspicion that it was going to be uh, too small so I got this in a medium and it fits me fine so I'm really glad I got the medium these are super and cute. Finally I was contacted by a company that does replica shoes and I think bags and uh, just some random replica products 
of designers and there's been so many of them around and I thought that I'd choose a few items just to see what the quality is like in case you guys are wondering. Also, if you're sort of thinking about if you're thinking about buying the real thing but you're not sure and you sort of want to test it to see if you actually like it or if you'll use it often then you could perhaps think about buying the replica item first from a website like this and then if you really do like it you can invest in the real piece. So that's how I would go about it. So the first thing I chose it's actually a travel bag because I don't have one. Oh, I don't have a decent looking one anyway, so I thought since we're going on a honeymoon it'll probably be useful to have one just to take on the plane. So I got this one here and it's obviously an LV uh, replica and uh, the quality seems fine to me. I haven't used it before so I honestly can't say too much about these items that I'm going to be showing you guys but I like the look of it. So, and, and I'll probably be using it when I'm traveling as well. Now, I also decided to pick out a couple of wallets just because I thought it would be handy to have some wallets um, that I could take with me traveling because you've got different currency and stuff like that. So rather than taking out all the stuff I don't need in my existing wallet, I can just bring a completely different wallet and and I don't need to worry too much about it in terms of like, you know, I can just throw it around and not care too much. So I got, and I purposely got big chunky ones too in case I need to put itineraries and stuff like that. So I got this Michael Kors wallet here and it's got the two zips. You guys would have seen this before, the real thing. It's got lots of uh, space for business cards and things like that, which might be useful and yeah, so I got this more so for the functionality and anything rather than the actual look and design. Same goes with the next wallet I'm about to show you. So it's this Hermes imitation. So as you can see, it comes in like, you know, an actual box here. So it looks like it's the real thing. Um, when you open the box, uh, oh, I've already taken it out, but it was in this sort of Hermes tissue paper and stuff. So it kind of looks legit, kind of. Um, and so I got this as well, so I'll be taking one or the other while I'm traveling. And once again, I got this for the functionality for traveling. And yeah, so got those two. I also picked out a pair of Converse, which came in a box like this. Once again, they're replicas, they're not the real thing. And I got this style here, and that's really just, you know, for running errands and whatnot. They're quite cute. Now the final item is not something I bought. I actually got it for my birthday, but I thought I'd show you guys as well in case you're interested. And it's this YSL lipstick slash lip gloss. Um, it's my first YSL or even just high end makeup product. I got this for my birthday from my friend. She knows that I'm not into like lipstick. So she got me this, it's in sheer candy and it's just a sheer glossy, color or well, it's not really pigmented in any way I am wearing it now and you probably can't tell but I love the smell of this it smells so good I think it's meant to be pomegranate and I just love you know being a girl and pulling this out of my bag and applying it it is very hydrating and glossy so yeah that's that so that's it for my whole video but before you go I just have a question I am planning to vlog my honeymoon and wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing that I want to vlog it for two reasons you know one is to put on my channel if you guys are interested in watching but another is just to document the whole thing as well because there's something about videos that really captures the moment more than taking photos so I would love to vlog my honeymoon let me know if you guys are interested in watching that and how frequent and that sort of thing obviously I won't be uploading while I'm on my honeymoon it will be afterwards but just let me know if you're interested in the comments below and that is it I think so uh, don't forget to like this video thumbs up if you enjoyed watching also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can also like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, is that it? Oh and my blog which is lovechicstyling.com. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh good pizza needles.